To specify your parameters prior to obtaining a CD spectrum, you can either click the Parameters icon or go to Measure Parameters. The Parameter menu box will now pop up and the first tab selected will be General. Here you can specify how many photometric modes will be measured. You can select up to four channels where the data will be acquired simultaneously. CD is the circular dichroism signal. LD is the linear dichroism signal. Both HT and DC modes monitor the photomultiplier tube voltage. HT is the high tension voltage and controls the gain. Gain is the amount of current output for the number of photons reaching the detector. When a lot of light hits the detector, the gain and therefore the HT are low. The less light throughput, the fewer the photons reaching the detector and the higher the HT and the larger the amplification of the signal. DC compensates for the change in the light level. When the DC drops, the HT adjusts the gain to increase the DC output. CD over DC is the same as the CD signal when the DC is set to 1 volt. This mode is useful when the DC varies with the sample absorption and the HT is fixed. The absorbance can also be calculated from the HT voltage while UV single converts the DC signal to either absorbance or percent transmittance. The start and end fields determine the wavelength range for the measurement. Secondary structure measurements are obtained between 185 to 250 nanometers, while tertiary structure information is acquired between 250 to 350 nanometers. The data pitch determines the number of data points collected at the specified interval. 0.1 nanometers is a good interval to start with and should provide a spectrum with an optimal signal-to-noise ratio. Selecting too small of a data pitch and you might obtain a spectrum with a lot of noise, but too large of a data pitch and crucial data points could be missed. The start mode allows you to immediately obtain a CD spectrum or wait for an external trigger. JASCO offers three scanning modes. The continuous scan acquires a CD signal at each wavelength while moving across the desired wavelength range. Step scan stops the monochromator at each wavelength to obtain a CD signal. The step scan takes much longer to acquire a CD spectrum than the continuous scan mode. The scanning speed is the speed at which the data is collected. 50 nanometers per minute is a good scan speed to begin with. The CD scale is the limit at which a CD signal can be obtained, and the fluorescence scale is the limit at which a fluorescence signal can be obtained. The DIT is the digital integration time, or the response time. The longer the integration time, the better the signal to noise. Again, a good starting point for selecting the DIT is 4 seconds. The bandwidth determines how much light reaches the sample. The smaller the bandwidth, the less light throughput and the lower the signal to noise, but you can achieve better peak resolution. However, since CD peaks are broad, 1 to 2 nanometer bandwidth is fine. The accumulations are the number of spectrum obtained and averaged together. The more accumulations, the better the signal to noise of your spectrum. The cell unit tab will be displayed if the cell holder is a Peltier unit. This parameter tab will be discussed in the setting up parameters for temperature studies videos. Now we can click on the control tab. Here you can select whether you would like to correct your CD spectrum with a baseline spectrum. Keep in mind that if you choose to correct with a baseline, you will only have the corrected sample spectrum, not the raw sample spectrum. You can also choose to open and close the shutter automatically, or close the shutter in between measurements so that the sample will not be irradiated when a measurement is not being obtained. The Information tab allows you to populate the desired fields, such as sample name, concentration, and solvent. These comments can also be displayed in the Comments dialog box before the sample measurement. All information provided here can be later viewed in the Information tab and Spectra Analysis for each spectrum. The Data tab allows you to select whether to automatically save your data, as well as to specify which folder to save it to and the format the file is saved as. Saved data can be sent directly to Spectra Analysis once the measurement is finished, and the data can also be printed. You can also save your measurement parameters, as well as open previously saved parameter files.
Click OK to set the specified parameters. At the top of the spectrum measurement, the starting wavelength, number of accumulations, and the values for the photometric modes selected will be displayed. To begin your measurement, make sure your shutter is open and select either baseline or sample measurement icon in the menu bar.